Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. You're welcome to Champ World Maths, an online channel that explains mathematics in a way that everybody will understand. In today's lesson, we are looking at the application of modular arithmetic in real life situation. We have looked at our modular arithmetic in our previous series. So today we are looking at the application of modular arithmetic. We have a number of questions on the board to help us do that. The first question we have, uh, an alarm bell rings every hour. If it begins at two o'clock, what time will it be when it rings 50 times? So, Now, if this is our clock, the alarm bell begins at 2 o'clock. And somebody who do not know modular arithmetic, now we start counting from 2 o'clock. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, up to 50 times. That, that is a whole lot of work. And in the course of counting, you might make mistakes. And that is why we have modular arithmetic to help us solve questions like that. So now, let's look at it. Alarm bell rings every hour. From two o'clock, three o'clock, four, it keeps on ringing. As it is ringing, it is going round the circle. It is wrapping round as it is ringing. It rings 50 times. So let us find out the number of times it is going to repeat the numbers. The number of times it is going to wrap round. So, we are going to divide the 50 times by the available numbers here, and that is 12, which means this is in mode 12. So we are going to divide 50 by 12. If you divide 50 by 12, they are going to have 4, which means that as it is ringing at each hour 50 times, it goes round the clock 4 times. It wraps itself 4 times. So there will be a remainder of 2 because 12 times 4 is 48, which means after it wraps around for the fourth time, then it now goes two steps because there is a remainder of 2 here. So all we need to do is just to count 2 after the 2 o'clock. We have 1, 2, 4 o'clock. So our answer is 4 o'clock. So let us look at the second question. In the second question, a man travels on Tuesday to return after 87 days. What day of the week will he return? Now we are dealing with days of the week and we know that there are seven days in a week that they keep on repeating themselves. So the man travels on Tuesday and then to return after 87 days. So with the help of modular arithmetic, we are going to divide 87 by 7 because there are 7 days in a week. Every Tuesday, clocks one week. Every Tuesday, another week. Every Tuesday, another week. So when you divide 87 by 7, that gives us 12. And then 12 times 7 is 84. 84 with a remainder of 3 with a remainder of three. So since he started his journey on Tuesday, we are going to count three after the Tuesday. So, after the Tuesday, we are going to count three. We have one, two, three which means he is going to return on Friday. So let us look at the third question. Now in the third question, if we are in October, what month of the year will it be after 100 months? Now somebody who do not know modular arithmetic will now start counting 100 months. That will be a whole lot of work. And in the process, you are going to make mistakes. So using modular arithmetic, all we need to do is to divide the 100 months because we are talking about months, how many months do we have? We have 12 months, and that is 12, uh, mode 12. We are going to divide this 100 by 12. 100 divided by 12 gives us 8. 
and then 8 times 12 is 96. 8 times 12 is 96. So it means that as you are counting 100 months, it is going around itself 8 times. Then the eighth time, it is on October. The eighth time is on October. So from October, we have November, December, January, February, March. So because there is a remainder of four, we are going to count four after October. So this is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. So, in 100 months, we are going to be in February. So, thank you so much for watching. Do well to subscribe. If you have any questions, you can comment in the comment section. See you in the next lesson.